Welcome to Rise Up Yoga. I'm Ashley. Today we're going to be doing a community tarot reading and then a yoga practice to follow. So if you'd like to stick around for the tarot reading, just hang out here. If you're ready to just hop over to the yoga flow, you can find the timestamps in the description below. For the tarot reading, uh, I figured we'd use the Muse Tarot. I just really love, I have a couple different tarot decks and this one was just kind of popping out to me today. So I already shuffled the cards, but I'm just going to give them a little extra love. And the first card we'll pull out is just a general, oh, that one wanted to pop out, so I guess we'll use that. We've got two here. Let's just use both of them. Why not? Just see what general energy we're looking at for today. So we have our three of materials and we have justice. Wow. The first thing I immediately noticed with the justice card is that we have this like opening, this unfolding. You can see just like these different pieces of herself are kind of opening and and we have this like bright light coming out through the third eye and the crown so maybe there's this even third eye crown awakening for you i also see these fingers at the top they're just very like delicately sitting over there so maybe this is a very soft sort of space kind of like a flower i even see these petals down here or petal looking figures so it's this gentle unfolding, but there's a lot of strength in it as well. We also have the moon behind it. So I'm really tapping into this very intuitive energy. So maybe that's an opportunity for you to explore and something that we'll explore in the yoga practice as well. Tuning into our intuition, the cycles that we go through, just like those moon cycles and using those to really create this expansiveness. And it's interesting, her both of her eyes are closed in this as well, but it's like the third eye is opening. So physical space is tuned out a little bit so we can tune in and tap into that inner awakening. The three of materials here, I just see these like this braid kind of weaving together. Really love all the colors here that are popping out as well. And yeah, we even have that petal unfolding with the roses. There's like a softness, a sensualness to what I'm picking up. So I think that's definitely the opportunity for you to dive into. I'm even feeling like my voice as I'm speaking, I'm, I'm feeling very soft in my energy and my voice. So that's likely what I'm just picking up from you. So maybe that's already what you're sort of experiencing right now. Otherwise, if you don't already feel in that space, then that is what our yoga practice will help to invite us deeper into. There's also this very collaborative energy of the three of materials. It's working with your past, present, and future selves. So like I said, this is an inner awakening. Sometimes I could see the three of materials as um, collaborating with people outside of yourself. But this one in particular is just showing me that connection to your soul, your your deeper parts of yourselves. And th there's a lot of synergy going on here. It's really beautiful. Let's see if there's anything else I can see from ooh, these before I draw any more cards. I just keep getting, there's so much on here that I haven't <laughs> seen when I've looked at these cards before. So it's cool that they're popping out. Um, I don't know if you can see the details, but we have these two paths here. And we have this little person representation of a figure on this path. And there are these doors that are open behind her. So I feel like there's this door opening for you to explore. And, and you know, that's your opportunity to 
explore as well what what doors within you are making an appearance perhaps too as we're getting towards the end of the year actually when we're filming this maybe that's the doorway into the next year yeah so i'm just feeling a lot of like opportunistic um yeah just feeling very opportunistic with these there's also a lot of balance in the justice cards uh if you see i don't know if you get the very tiny details here we have these figures of the uh, pyramid and the and the squares black and white it's but they're both balanced here in the center so maybe there's something as well that's balancing in your life let's see what other cards want to come through awakening that's so cool okay we have the awakening and that's just so again synergistic with our justice card here let me move these over yes yeah, just so synergistic with with the justice card this one is even coming out this particular awakening is kind of coming out through the upper heart space so as we look into this and in, in terms of our yoga practice what is expanding what is opening we can focus a lot on the sort of upper space here we can do a little bit of the lower body but i, I think yeah what i'd like to do is is bring that focus into what is unfolding up in these spaces What I'm picking up for this card as well, there's a optimism and there's a hope looking forwards. She's also, we have all these mountains and these clouds below her. So there's a, a rising from challenge from difficulty maybe there's something that you've been going through that has been pretty challenging for you but what i'm seeing here is that this awakening is coming after that period of difficulty like in order to get into this space within these false parts of self have to fall away I'm getting breakdown to breakthrough kind of vibes. Like perhaps there's something that has felt destructive or like I said, challenging. So again, whether that's something that is, that's a space that you're in right now and you're going through that difficulty, just know that there is that light, that inner light that is going to be shining through for you soon. And that's something that we can connect to in our yoga practice as well, connecting to that inner light, expanding up from the heart space out through the third eye and the crown. Let's see, I'm going to take from one of my other decks. We've got the Moon Witch. I think that's what this one is called. I'll make sure to link the uh, the the card, the tarot decks, uh, in the description below. So if, in case you're interested in any of them, checking them out. Oh, we have the number thirteen. That is divine feminine. Yes, step into your power. So we all have divine feminine divine masculine energies within us so whether you're you identify as male or female um this is and i'm getting that softness as well again coming back up so there's this like there's an inner power but it's not power over it's power 
within. So connecting to, and, and, you know, 13, I see as a very, it, it's a very intuitive number. We have the eye here. Let me just show you that again because it's a smaller detail. So we have the eye. So that's really taking me to this justice card with that third eye opening. So we have that. We have the the snake, this very like fertile transformative. There's this transformative space. And sometimes when we can go through those transformations, it can feel like it's hard to see the forest for the trees in a way. Yeah, this is you getting a bigger picture perspective. And within that bigger perspective, that's allowing you to connect deeper to your inner feminine, to the softness, your inner wisdom. So yeah, unfolding all of these like, layers that have been put on top of you and shedding those shedding like through the justice card we see that shedding we see that shedding through the snake in our number 13 let me grab two more cards and then i think we have established a, a pretty good space for us to connect to with our yoga practice i'm excited for this one it'll feel super super nourishing and gentle and just give it will give yourself the space to possibly after these challenges that you've been going through a space to rest and replenish and recuperate and just start to feel really good in your body mind and soul all right what are their messages when i come out for you guys When I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. Beautiful. I'll put that down here. So when I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. That's, as I was saying earlier, we have this inner light that is shining through. Yes, in the third eye here, that vision, being able to see but we also have this heart opening as well. So connecting to that soft, loving energy within and allowing it to deepen and expand your perspective of your inner and outer worlds. All right, last one we'll pull here. Any last messages that want to come through for those showing up? In any moment, I can surrender to the powerful presence of love through prayer, contemplation, and stillness. In any moment, I can surrender to the powerful presence of love through prayer, contemplation, and stillness. Yeah, that's really just wrapping up that softness that I'm feeling. So I think that's just something that we are all in need of, connecting to some stillness, softness, love. I'm just going to see if there are any other messages that want to come through. And just know if you're ever experiencing these moments of deep difficulty or challenge that just feels like things are falling apart. Just keep going. Know that there is a path that you're being guided through by your, your inner guide, your inner light. And it's there to teach you and to open you up to more depths of yourself so that you can really embody more of your wholeness. And sometimes we can get into those points of, of difficulty and, and it's hard to see the path through. 
but there's definitely an opportunity through those spaces to deepen your connection to yourself. Like I said, with the three of materials, we have past, present, and future. So you're really communing with all those different aspects of, of yourself. Let's see. Okay. I'm feeling really good about where we're at for our tarot reading. So as we move into our yoga practice, if you're sticking around for that, what I would like to focus on, it'll definitely be a gentle flow. We'll give ourselves that that space to connect to this divine feminine. So maybe even a more yin style hatha sort of yin style practice where it's nice and nourishing not building up too much heat in the body just possibly you've already been building up like heat emotionally or, or energetically recently so gonna balance that out a little bit with this practice so that you can yeah just connect more to what is happening in your inner world allowing that opening, that blooming to happen throughout our yoga practice. And we'll do this practice. You won't need any props. Um, so yeah, just find a comfortable, cozy seat wherever you are. If you really want to tap into that like soft, nourishing energy, if you're at home and you have any candles or you want to turn the lights down low and just really get into that very just soft, sensual, blissful space. Set up your space around you and allow that uh, that easefulness to work with, synergize with your practice. Okay, so I'll see you on the mat. If you're just joining us, if you missed the tarot reading, then I'll give you just a little recap of what came out in our practice and what we'll be focusing on in our yoga practice. So we're really starting to soften and slow down. You're likely going through a very big inner awakening at this point. That's really what came through in our cards. It's this awakening to your divine feminine inner energy, which we all have, whether masculine or feminine. And it's this awakening of the heart, the third eye, and the crown as well. We got some really beautiful affirmation cards when I focus on my inner light, I see the world, the lens of love. And in any moment, I can surrender to the powerful presence of love through prayer, contemplation, and stillness. So our yoga practice is going to be one of stillness, nourishment, gentle, just very gentle, easeful flow. Because if you've likely been going through some challenges or difficulties rec recently, we're going to use that process to transform and to soften into ourselves and to just really work with that awakening energy. So you can find your way into a cross-legged seat if you're not already there. And start to extend your arms out to either side, point your fingers up towards the sky, getting that nice opening into the forearms. On an inhale, flip your palms up, let them reach all the way over your heads, kiss them. And then on an exhale, bring your hands all the way down as your thumbs cross over your crown, third eye, and throat. It will meet at your heart. You have the option to just let your eyelids relax. And then option here to bring one hand to heart, one hand to belly. Let your shoulders soften and take a few breaths in this moment. And let any tension from your legs start to relax and just allow your breath to even connect you deeper to the earth. So as you breathe in, imagine your breath going all the way down into your lower extremities. As you breathe out, let your body relax. And through every breath, just start to imagine roots growing out of your lower extremities into the earth. As we go through some of these awakening processes, it can start to shift and move and yeah just cause a little bit of inner disruption so 
the more we allow ourselves to ground down, to connect to our roots, then the more we can rise and expand in a way that feels really nourishing. Got a couple more breaths here. All right, option to keep your eyelids closed or you can slowly start to flutter them coming back into this physical space. On an inhale, reach your arms all the way over your head. Take a look up, clasp your hands together and then bring them behind your head. Just cradle your neck a little bit. On an inhale, open your heart space up, lift your elbows out wide. Just assisting with this heart opening and unfolding. On an exhale, round through your back, bring your elbows in toward your chest, finding this compression of the front line of your body. Inhale, reach forward, open your heart space, open your throat. Even imagine your third eye center reaching all the way up towards the sky. On an exhale, round in, elbows kiss. One more time each side. Inhale, lift forwards, open up. And then exhale to round and drop inwards. On your next inhale, you can lift your torso, reach your arms by your side, palms plant on the earth. Weight comes into your left hand, reach your right fingertips all the way over towards the left. Keep rooting down into your right hip. And then see if you can invite in this extension from your hip to your fingertips and all the way even out side energetically of your fingers. So if you're reaching for something all the way over towards the left, just outside of your grasp. On an exhale, round forwards, you can make a little rainbow shape in front of you and then plant your right palm, lift your left fingers all the way over. Keep allowing your left shoulder to soften down your back so that you avoid any uh, closing off of the heart or staying Nice and open. Take a look up towards your left palm. On an inhale, go ahead and lift all the way up. I'm just going to rotate to the top of my mat here. So if you need to rotate, now is the time for it. Bring one of your feet, so let's say the right foot, in front of the left. On an inhale, lift your crown of the head towards the sky. And then on an exhale, start to fold forward, come onto your palms or onto your forearms. So just starting to invite in this openness through one of your hips. Tune in to whatever sensation you're experiencing. Let your chin fall towards your chest, inviting in some of that soft energy into your body. So sometimes when things can get a little bit tumultuous through these unfolding processes, what you really need is to slow down, to rest, to find stillness. So we'll really be tapping into some of that today, allowing that slow, still energy to help us integrate any of those shifts we've been going through. On an inhale, go ahead and lift your torso up. Switch your legs so your left leg can come in front, your right leg just behind your left. On an inhale, reach the crown of your head. And I say this in order for you to create a bit more space in your torso and your spine, making sure your shoulders aren't clenching up towards your ears and rather reaching down towards the earth, creating even more space around you. On an exhale, go ahead and fold it forwards onto your palms or onto your forearms. Let your head relax inwards. And start to let your breath draw you even deeper in. With every breath, connecting more deeply to your inner power of love. On an inhale, go ahead and lift your torso. There's a quote from 
I can't recall who it is now. I'll make sure to link to it in this description, but it's when the power of love overcomes the love of power, the world will know peace. On an inhale, reach your arms all the way over your head. One more big extension through your spine, through your ribs. On an exhale, bring your hands down. Let your hands walk your feet a little bit forward. Soles of your feet can meet. Inhale as you press into your ankles. Really feel that pressure of your palms onto your legs. On an exhale, hinge your hips forwards. Take a look down towards your toes. Keep pressing your knees closer towards the earth as, as long as it's inviting this deep, nourishing stretch into your hips. On an inhale, go ahead and lift your torso, bring your knees in towards one another, and then bring your feet a little bit wider than hip width distance. Your palms can plant behind your hips. Start to take your knees to the right and to the left. Just inviting a gentle opening into your hips. Okay, from here, let your knees come all the way back towards center. Scoot your legs to either side and come into a tabletop position. So find your roots. What does that mean to you in this moment? Can you press more firmly into the parts of your body that are connecting to your mat? Can you find any more length and expression of your spine? Make sure to breathe. From here, you can walk your hands towards the top of your mat, come into a puppy. Let your heart space drop towards the earth. Your hips can be about over your knees as you let your third eye can rest on the earth or you can add a little space between your third eye and the earth. It's up to you. And you've got a variation with your elbows lifted or lowered just depending on the sensations that you're wanting to invite into your body. Know that this is your practice. Let your breath start to weave together your experience. As your heart space is pulling just a little bit closer towards the earth, I invite you to tune into your inner heart experience. What parts of you maybe need more love in this moment? On your inhales, breathing in love. On your exhales, breathing out love. Letting those powerful forces of love start to invite in that inner transformation or to help you to connect deeper to it. If your forehead is on the earth, bring an awareness to your third eye center. Notice the pressure, the sensation. On your next inhale, gently lift your torso up. Let your palms slide underneath your shoulders. On an inhale, let your belly drop. Your heart space can open forwards. Come into your cow. Bittilasana. On an exhale, round through your back, come into cat, marjariyasana. Let your chin reach towards your chest. Take a few of these slow, sensual, loving movements at your own pace. If there's any variations that you'd like to invite into your practice, you're welcome to. So maybe that's taking a look over your left or right shoulder with your gaze. 
taking your hips to each side or even taking some circles with your hips. You've got two more breaths. And then we'll meet at tabletop. Start to let your toes tuck, bring your hips back towards your heels. Take a look forwards. Find a spot to focus on in front of you. You can even walk your knees a bit closer towards your ankles and your feet in order to get that deeper stretch in your Achilles and your plantar fascia. On an inhale, walk your hands back towards your body. Let them rest on your thighs. So maybe starting to feel some of this little bit of heat in the ankles. On an inhale, start to lift your hips off of your heels. So now shoulders, hips, and knees are in line with one another. Start to extend your arms all the way over your head. Once more, clasp your hands together. Try to do opposite hands so you can invite in some more balance into your body. On an exhale, bring your hands behind your head. Let your elbows open and start to engage through your quads. Take a few soft breaths in this space and then through each breath, just start to let your pelvis and your heart space open forwards. So we're inviting in a mild back bend. Not needing to go too far here, just exploring what this feels like. On an inhale, go ahead and lift back to neutral, reach your arms high. On an exhale, opposite hand clasp, bring it behind your head and then open heart space forwards, look back. Maybe look slightly up towards the sky. Two breaths, engage your uh, core. And then on an inhale, go ahead and lift up, arms extend nice and high. Exhale, again, palms can meet. Let your thumbs trace over your crown, your third eye, nose, mouth. Let it be sensual as we connect to that divine feminine softness. Your thumbs will rest on your heart space. On an exhale, bring your palms in front of you. We'll take it to a downward facing dog. Otherwise, if you're feeling really in need of just softness and stillness, you can always skip down dog and you can just find your way into a forward fold. So I'll let you choose your own adventure here. As you come into down dog, your hips will lift high. Find a bit of movement with your heels. Lifting and lowering each palm on the earth or the mat beneath you. Just know you're always welcome to, to do your yoga practice without a mat. It's really not necessary. And so I encourage you to explore what that, you know, might feel like in the future. See how it might bring you into deeper connection with your environment. And then start to gently walk your feet forwards. Bring your weight into your palms. You can bend your knees and then take it into a forward fold, Uttanasana. Imagine trying to bring your third eye center in between your forehead and between your brows. Trying to bring that all the way down to meet your knees. Of course, it certainly doesn't have to get all the way there. It's just the intention of that movement. And start to reach your arms behind your back, clasp them together, explore whichever clasp feels more intuitive for you in this moment. You can either bring your hands into fists or if it feels more right for you to bring one hand to one of your wrists, you're welcome to. And then start to play with lifting your fists up towards the sky getting this rotation of your shoulders and opening through the front of your shoulders, this little compression through the back of your shoulders. Take a few breaths. And then on an exhale, you can let your hands 
fall all the way towards the earth. Start to bend really deeply through your knees. Let your palms start to slide up your body. So really take your time. I mean, slow, slow, slow this down. Let your fingers graze over different parts of your body. Notice the sensations as you start to lift. Your head will be the very last to rise. Let your fingertips extend all the way towards the sky. Really bring your weight into your heels so that you can even play with letting your feet or your toes lift and lower, dancing them around on the mat. On an exhale, bring your hands behind your back. Find a clasp and then let your hands root down towards the earth as you once more open your heart space towards the sky. Find a little shoulder opening. And maybe this back bend goes just a centimeter, an inch further than your previous back bend. So using some of this repetitive space to deepen your stretch, deepen your experience. Even inviting in a little lift of your chin, opening up through your throat. On an exhale, go ahead and bring your torso back to neutral. Keep your hands clasped as you bend your knees and take it all the way back down into your forward fold. Option to let your fists reach up towards the sky. And then easefully release your hands down towards your mat. Inhale, start to lift halfway. Your hands can reach towards your shins. Make sure you're inviting in a parallel back towards the earth. So from your tailbone all the way to the crown of your head, you are fully flat and aligned. On an exhale, let your palms kiss your mat. Step one foot back and then the other, and then take your knees down towards the earth. We're going to take it into a sphinx so bring your forearms to your mat and then let your pelvis meet the earth beneath you untuck your toes at the tops of your feet press firmly into the earth and take a look up let your elbows firmly reach into your mat let a few breaths Start to connect you to your divine feminine energy. So what does that mean to you? Can you find a little bit of movement, taking a few sways of your torso to each side? Maybe your chin and your head want to take a few circles of your neck. So I'm talking about connecting to that inner divine feminine energy, again, that we all have, male or female, however you choose to identify. Really connecting to that intuitive feeling body. And just asking yourself, what feels good in this moment? Where does my body want to move to? What do I need? We've got just a few more breaths to explore, to put on a little lens of curiosity. All right, and then let your body be neutral. Find a bit of stillness with your gaze forward. Find a point of focus in front of you to bring your attention to. And then on an exhale, go ahead and lower your torso down, press into your palms, tuck your back toes. Let's take it into a child's pose. So you can either take your child's pose with your knees under your hips, or you can bring them wide as your yoga mat. As your hips fall to your heels, once more your fingers can reach forwards, and then your third eye space can connect to the earth beneath you if it reaches all the way down there. Hi. 
take a few expansive breaths in this space. So as you breathe in, your torso can extend to all four sides, front, back, side, and side. Possibly even feeling that compression of your torso on your thighs. Tune into that feeling. On an inhale, go ahead and lift your torso up, come into a tabletop, tuck your toes once more, we'll take it into a rabbit pose. So you'll start to bring the very crown of your head, very top, that flat part of your head, down towards the earth beneath you. Once you find a good space there, you can reach your hands back towards your heels, trying to grasp onto your heels or your ankles. And if you even need to walk your forehead closer towards your knees to get that connection and you can explore that. On an inhale, lift your hips up, pressing your palms and your heels in towards one another to invite in this deep stretch of your back. On an exhale, go ahead and lower your hips down, walk your hands forward, come into your tabletop, Untuck your toes, let the tops of your feet lift and lower onto the earth a few times. And then you can gently lower into a cross-legged seat. Now I invite you, if you have the time, to take yourself into a little shavasana, just lying on the ground with your heart open. Give yourself a couple minutes or 30 minutes or even an hour. Take as long as you need to really just rest and receive. But those of you who are ready to get moving and grooving into the rest of your day, you can relax into your cross-legged seat, let your body soften. Once more, bring your hands to meet at your heart and your belly, just really tuning into the feeling of your palms resting on your torso, inviting in that flow of love with your breath. On an inhale, extend your arms to either side of you, loop them up all the way over your head, let them meet at the top. Last time here, we're going to lower it all the way down. So really tune into the sensation of your thumbs wrapping over your crown, your third eye. They can either rest at your third eye, your lips, or you can bring them down to your heart space. Yogi's choice. I thank all of you beautiful beings for showing up and for flowing with me and really tuning into that divine feminine energy that we all carry. And I hope that you can use your experience moving forward to just connect deeper to that space. So much love from my heart to yours. Namaste.